Students head back to school. Many districts are doing more to help keep kids mm. healthy. And that includes new technology to prevent students from vaping on campus. Our Amber Hughes tells us more. E-cigarettes and vape pens are becoming all too common on school grounds. District officers are saying it's a growing crisis. Never would have dreamed I would be back here in this capacity. From Northside ISD student to Northside ISD police chief, Charlie Carnes has been with the department 30 years. They're all fed into uh, the dispatch office here. From dispatch, his team monitors thousands of campus cameras. But in San Antonio's largest school district, there's a growing concern that's become hard to tackle. The increase um, in vaping. Teenagers in middle and high school are using e-cigarettes. Surprisingly, they've also been found on elementary campuses. We have parents that come to us and they bring us a vape pen. They have no knowledge as to what it is. Although marijuana has always been around, Karn says vapes can conceal the smell. So the department plans to test out vaping sensors in school restrooms. Two years ago, we averaged about 40 cases a month to include uh, nicotine and THC, and now uh, we see uh, approaching 300 cases a month. Last session, lawmakers passed House Bill 114, which could land students in alternative school for possession of e-cigarettes. Our parents need to be educated as well as our students need to be educated on the seriousness of it, not just the health complications, but but the legal com uh, complications. In Texas, having a THC vape pen is a felony. I think they're more harmful than your typical cigarettes. Liz Prey is the Washington State Director of the National Association of School Nurses. She says the concentration of nicotine in e-cigs is much higher than traditional cigarettes. These e-cigarettes are affecting brain development, they're affecting lungs. As the school year starts, Liz says it's important for parents to have the tough conversation with their kids, also eliminating their access to vape products at home. It's very easy to pick up one of these vape pens and sneak it outside or sneak it to school and use it yourself. A recent CDC study shows from 2020 to 2022, U.S. e-cigarette sales increased by 47 percent. To help stop this crisis, health advocates want the FDA to take flavored e-cigs off the market. Students, they get peer pressured into vaping. They need the support of their family and loved ones not to vape. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on Dish and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.